Have you ever dreamed of sleeping over the water, diving right into the ocean from your balcony, watching the sunset, but then realized most overwater bungalows cost thousands of dollars per night? Imagine my surprise when I found the cheapest overwater bungalow in the world. Whoa, wait, this bathroom's amazing. In a place that is not typically cheap at all. This is the Royal Huahine on Huahine Island in French Polynesia, which we only paid $110 each per night for. Things looked good when we landed on the island. It was stunning from the air, but problems started to arise when our ride didn't show up at the airport. So we had checked. Thanks for picking us up. <laughs> <laughs> he forgot his juicer and then, all right. Monday Thanks for forgetting your juicer. <laughs> I'm really grateful for the juicer. <laughs> I'll eat the juice, buddy. Remind those guys when you pay for it that they're not going to show it up. Oh, they I will. For it. Okay, found the boat. <laughs> found the boat, lost the captain. <laughs> This is funny. So many months ago, I stumbled upon an overwater bungalow that I'm pretty certain is the cheapest in the world. It was on a really good sale, but I've looked far and wide and I have not found one that's actually cheaper than this. Our ride didn't show up, but it's okay. We still got here. And I think that's our captain now to take us the rest of the way. All right. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Uh, before? Tahiti. Oh, you speak English. Sorry. <laughs> Je parle un petit peu de français. You better, you better in, uh, speak in English. English is my mother language. <laughs> there it is. Our bungalow is over there somewhere. And I am excited. Okay, well this is awesome. We've been gifted a fruit plate. <laughs> and now we're gonna go see which of these is ours. I've never stayed in an overwater bungalow before. And they're really excited. <laughs> we got part way and then we realized uh, we don't we don't have a key. So <laughs> she's gonna go get it and bring it over to us. <laughs> we're batting a thousand a day. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Right, you think? Okay. Oh, here it is. <laughs> this is our room. This is the fruit plate and our little couch. A little kitchenette area, a kettle, a tiny bottle of water, <laughs> the fridge here. Nothing in it, but we put our own stuff in, so it's all good. This is our bed. I obviously have to do the ultimate bed test. <laughs> bad? No, not bad. <laughs> it's springy. <laughs> it sounds worse than it is. <laughs> That's our neighbors. <laughs> Whoa, wait, this bathroom's amazing. Whoa. The lighting leaves a bit to be desired, but we have this like huge bathtub here with jets that may or may not work. <laughs> we have this like fantastic 90s style shower. It's a big shower. Oh my gosh. Not bad. <laughs> okay, but I have a feeling the best part is outside. Oh. We got the best view, seriously. There's no lifeguard on duty. <laughs> Should we swim? Yes. <laughs> Yes, even though it's not chocolate. Oh wow, you meant that. <laughs> oh, it's thick mm -hmm. and hard. <laughs> yeah. I'll be here for a while. <laughs> it's hot. Give me a, on a scale of one to ten. Six. It's true, there are peas in this omelet. I've never had peas in an omelet before. It's confusing. <laughs> Breakfast is okay, but 
I love that we're like eating over the water while looking at our overwater bungalow. It just keeps delighting me over and over. <laughs> we're over the water right now. <laughs> there's fish down there. Yeah, there's been flying fish going by. That's also really cool. And the so view, cool. the view is amazing. After our questionable breakfast, we decided to take a chance and hang out with those guys who gave us a ride the day before. Maybe that seems crazy, but I've always been trusting when I travel and it's led to the best adventures. Wow, that's so pretty. Is this real life? Honestly, those guys were awesome. Yeah, so nice. Like, no strings attached. Let's just go have a fun afternoon. Definitely hit you up when I come back. <laughs> yeah, let's keep in touch. Sounds good. I was bored in a beautiful lagoon. Yeah. Pick you up from the airport. <laughs> you never know who you're gonna run into. <laughs> yep. This is why I love hitchhiking. <laughs> So we've come to the end of our two nights in the world's cheapest overwater bungalow, which at like $105 each per night is really good. And French Polynesia is like not a cheap place to travel. And if you're two people, then it usually doubles here. So it's pretty amazing that we got to do this. And I, I really dig being in an overwater bungalow. <laughs> it's water. We're over water. We're over the water right now. There were some minor yes. things like them not picking us up from the airport, but that ended up being a really good thing because then we got to hang out with Smitty and Bob. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, thanks for forgetting awesome us people <laughs> because of it, but being able to like run and jump off of your accommodation into the water for whatever reason, it's so much better than having to run across the beach first. I don't know why. So I give the food a 3 out of 10 <laughs> and everything else like a 9 out of 10, honestly. Yep. But we are actually staying in a super fancy overwater bungalow in Bora Bora in like a week and a half. And that one definitely is not a budget bungalow, so we'll see which one reigns 